I decided to risk it all. And my risk was to ask for equal pay. Because if you look at the sustained success that we've had at South Carolina, mm -hmm. and you look at our male counterpart, and I don't, I don't really like to, to, to bring someone else in the equation, but you, you have to look at yeah. who's in the position that you hold on the, on the men's side. And you look at where my pay started when I, when I came to South Carolina to last year. Yeah. And you look at his pay when he started to where he was last year. Yes. His raises were more than my raises. And I, I felt like there, there was a huge... Disparity between the two. Huge. Yeah. So I asked my agent to step down. Not to step down, but just step aside. Yeah. Let me hire a lawyer to fight for this. Because my agent has a relationship with our AD. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't think he could get me to where I was trying to go. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. going to happen. You, you have to get somebody else that is so far removed from those previous conversations mm -hmm. to go in there and say, hey, I wanted to make the same as the men's coach. Yeah. And it took, it took some time. And we still didn't get there, but the whole package, like I got a, a new seven-year deal yes. that if you added it all up, if you averaged it out, it would be equal pay. So I didn't care how they got there yeah, this is as long as they got there. It was something that got a lot of national attention. Mm -hmm. um, did, did South Carolina have to do it? They didn't really have to do it, but they stepped up, which I'm, I'm really proud of, that yes. they stepped up and they gave me um, what is deemed equal pay. And I, I'm super happy. And I Can hope we just that pause for a second and pop your collar on the fact that you got the contract and then you won a championship? Because, <laughs> yeah, it's I just, mean, that is, yeah. that is a blessing to think yeah. that you were able to have the needle move that far, not be fired for, yeah. for demanding right. equal pay, and then to have the success. You know what that's called? Favor. Oh Favor, okay. It's divine order. Yes. It, you know, did I deserve it prior to it? Yeah, heck yeah, I, I deserved it prior to it. But everything has order to it. And yeah. I hope we are, you know, a beacon of hope to not just, you know, contained in, in collegiate sports, but let's go to the Fortune 500 companies. Let's go to teachers. Let's go um, to other professions, yeah. nurses, doctors, that women get what their male counterparts are getting. We do the same work or more. Yeah. A lot of times we do more. We do more than our male counterparts, but we get less, and we got to put a stop to that.